Okay, in the first question, an element M has an electronic distribution is shown. So they give you the electronic distribution. Which group in the periodic table M will be in? This is a electronic distribution is given like 2, 8, 18 and 3. Which group it belongs to? You can use the screen annotation to state the answer. So it will save the time. You can also use your mic if you are finding it difficult to type. Yeah, which group it belongs to? Group number means number of electron in the last cell. So which group it belongs to? Because there are three electrons in the last shell, so it means it belongs to group three. Predict whether element M is a poor conductor. Group three, we have metals. And what are metals? Good conductor or poor conductor? So it will be a good conductor. Binary compound contain two atoms per molecule. Uh, leave this part because the part C is uh, not related to what we have discussed till now. We are only discussing the questions, the parts which related to topic which we already completed. Then predict the formula of M sulfate. M belongs to group 3. So if M belongs to group 3, what will be the valency of M? M belongs to group 3 as we already know. The valency will be plus 3. Yeah, that's right. And sulfate SO4, the valency is minus 2. So what is the formula of the compound? When we cross multiply, this 2 will come with M and 3 will come with sulfate. So the formula of the compound will be M2 SO4 in a bracket 3. That's how we write because first we use the valencies, then we simplify the valency and add the last. And at the end, we write the formula. We have to write a molecular formula of the structure and then empirical formula. Molecular formula means actual number of atoms, total number of atoms. So how many carbon atoms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six carbon atoms. And how many hydrogen? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twelve hydrogen. So C6 and H12 is a molecular formula which represent the actual number. What about empirical formula? What is the simplest ratio between six and twelve? So we divide by this common factor so 1 is to 2 so the empirical formula will be CH2 so using a simplest ratio we can work out the empirical formula from the molecular formula this is a chemical cell a reactivity series can be established by measuring the voltage of a simple cell as shown in the diagram. The result from a cell, <coughs> the result from a cell using metal, tin, cadmium, zinc and copper are given. The negative electrode means the electrode which is negative in the cell it means that is more reactive metal and the ele positive electrode in a cell is refers to less reactive. So first, when we read the cell one, copper is there, positive electrode and cadmium is there, negative electrode. So which is more reactive, cadmium or copper? Which is more reactive? The electrode, the metal.
with a negative electrode the negative one the electrode the negative electrode is known as the more reactive so when we check we have positive one copper the negative one is cadmium so which is more reactive cadmium is more reactive so cadmium is more reactive than copper and what is the difference in the voltage 0.74 so this voltage Zero point seven four. Then copper and tin. Copper is a positive electrode. Tin is a negative electrode, and the voltage is zero point four eight. So it means negative electrode is tin. It means tin is more reactive, and the voltage is a small voltage. So it means the difference in the reactivity of the tin and the copper is small. So the voltage difference. Decide the difference in the reactivity. Small voltage means a small difference in the reactivity. Greater voltage means greater difference in the reactivity. Then we check copper and zinc. The voltage is one point one. So zinc is more reactive than copper because it's a negative electrode. And how much is the difference? The difference is. 1.1 volts greater the difference means greater the difference means more voltage produced or greater difference in the reactivity so what is the reactivity series which is a more reactive in this one zinc is there followed by cadmium followed by tin and at the last there will be copper is it clear discussion so using a voltage we can work out the difference in the reactivity more voltage means greater difference in the reactivity smaller voltage means less difference in the reactivity in part d we have to draw a diagram to show arrangement of valency electrons in one molecule of hydrogen so we have to draw this structure nitrogen belongs to group 5 this is a covalent structure nitrogen it belongs to group 5 so it will share three electrons oxygen uh, hydrogen will share only one electron each line is representing a pair of electrons so we have nitrogen nitrogen hydrogen 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 and hydrogen cross to represent the nitrogen and circle to represent hydrogen so if this is the electron of hydrogen then nitrogen the second line this line means a pair of electron so hydrogen nitrogen a single line is there so electrons of nitrogen hydrogen and nitrogen because there is a single line whenever there is a single line it means there is a pair of electron and nitrogen belongs to group 5 so it will share three and unshared will be two so two unshared electron will be there for each nitrogen then we complete the circle So this is how we complete the circle for the structure of hydrogen is it clear the covalent structure because it's a covalent structure means it's a sharing of electrons so these are some